What is good, ladies and gents? Uh, it's your boy, Coast, and I am at the movies. Well, about to see uh, what all the hype is about with uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I've heard of, heard some good things so far. It looks good. Um, I'm certainly going into this hoping that it is good. Uh, I'm hoping they don't, uh, I'm giving this movie a chance, okay? Disney Marvel has pulled out all of the, the nostalgia from Lord knows where, so I am giving this movie a chance. <sighs> I've watched this, the original Spider-Man trilogy a, a, a ton of times. I have it on video, and so this, this, I guess, is the least I can do. I mean, I see my favorite characters on screen again um i i just hope that this leads to uh a further development of this care of this spider-man so that he's not just iron boy you know junior with the spider-man you know with a spider-man web shooter you know that's that's been the major gripe that everyone has had with this Spider-Man is that he's basically iron. He's on Iron Man's dick so much that it's just, it's just like, you know, he's not Spider-Man. He's just Iron Man with web shooters. And that's not a, you know, that's not cool. That's like, he's, he's Iron Man with the, with the Spider-Man aesthetic, like with the Spider-Man skin. <clears throat> so I'm giving this a second chance. I watched the first movie out of this Spider-Man trilogy, and I can't say I was I was impressed. So I mean, I didn't even watch the second one, but I heard about his identity getting revealed. So this is hey, this is it. This is this is show and prove, show and prove time. Uh, anyway, let's get three hours later. All right, guys, just saw Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> Awesome movie. Awesome. That was, as a Spider-Man fan, that was everything that I that you could have wanted in a Spider-Man movie. I mean, it was everything you could have wanted. <clears throat> they had your the other two Spider-Men show up. They had what what went on in their universes. It, they had. <sighs> It had everything, man. It, it was it was a gripping mo movie, and um, as insofar as uh, we all call uh, the Tom Holland Spider Man, the Iron Boy Junior, that's over. That's effectively over, and they've established this Spider Man as his own character, as his own person, as his own man, and. Um, as, as much as this sucks, um, there are there are real consequences for him in this movie that affect him very deeply and emotionally. And we get to see a little bit of him lashing out, and I thought that was really cool. We got to see Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Adam Garfield uh, Spider-Man in action all three of them together it was it was so awesome it, it was so it was it was so fulfilling you know just seeing all three of those actors on sharing the screen uh as spider-man and it's just a really big tribute to past success and really it was everything i could have asked for uh in this movie and there were certain parts where i was you know just a little bit emotional with with all the the memories flooding back of, uh, you know, of the other Spider-Man movies. And, you know, it's just, I, I've always been a huge Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man and the X-Men uh, is what got me into into comics. Spider-Man the X-Men and uh, The Incredible Hulk. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Spider-Man grew up watching that television series, man. It's just... It's just such a part of part of me, and you know, just growing up in the early two thousands and the late nineties, early two thousands, and it was just that was. I mean, Spider Man was just the dude. You know, he's the face of Marvel, 
And um, I like that they've taken, especially at the end of this movie, I, I, I don't want to spoil it too much, but they've taken uh, this Spider-Man and kind of, I can tell you one thing though, they've, they've, they took him off the Tony Stark brown nosing tour. <laughs> if I should say that they've taken him off of that and, and really tried to make him into his own person because Peter Parker was never a rich kid living in a fancy apartment and, you know, hanging around with all these superheroes when he was just starting. Like, no, he, you know, he, he, he was always broke. He was always trying to make it on his own. And, you know, even though he was brilliant, he was doing all this stuff on his own. He had to deal with real life, uh, real people problems. And, you know, and, and everyone could relate to that. That's why it doesn't, it doesn't matter what race Spider-Man is. You know, uh, they, <laughs> These people make so everything so much about race that it just clouds their judgment, and that's why when when everyone says like who is Spider Man, it's Peter Parker. It's I mean it's not going to be anyone else, you know. It's that's just who he is, and you know it doesn't matter white or you know if he's white or not. If he's white, so what. All right, guys. Well, overall, I give this movie a solid eight or nine out of ten on my scale. Um, it is a very good movie for a Spider-Man fan. Um, <clears throat> no, solid eight. Eight. It's a good movie for a st- for a Spider-Man fan. Um, <clears throat> if you're steeped into the movies. If you grew up with the movies, this is a very, you know, good way to tie it all together. Brings all of your favorite Spider-Man together, you know, regardless. Um, And it really opens, it really pays tribute to, like, uh, the past. And um, I get that Disney is really good at doing nostalgia stuff. So props to them for this. This is actually a good product. Um, go ahead and watch it. Hey, it's got my vote of approval. Um, it's a very good movie overall. And, uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it's, it's, it's very emotionally gripping and it really puts you in Peter's shoes. Like what if everybody knew your secrets, um, that you didn't want out there and it was in your face every single day and kind of puts you in his shoes and, the dangers that goes along with being Spider-Man and his family being in the mix. Um, They really kind of revamped Aunt May, like her... Well, I wouldn't say they revamped her, but like before she she didn't seem as moral. I, I don't know, like... Because they're trying this thing with uh, New Age... <laughs> wokest nonsense where it's like, oh, um, you know, I can be an old lady and still be like flirting with guys and going out with guys. I don't know. It just seems kind of, it just seems kind of weird, like, and kind of disrespectful to, uh, to uncle Ben, the whole Aunt May and, and happy Hogan thing. And it just really seems kind of disrespectful to uncle Ben. But um, at least in this film, they acknowledge that Ben existed, even though Tom Holland, Spider-Man, doesn't really say anything concerning Ben. And we don't see a grave marker for Uncle Ben. It's kind of out there that he exists somewhere. It's just kind of weird. Um, but anyway, uh, it's your boy, Coz. i, I Sorry, I don't want to go on too much about it, but, like, go see this movie. It's definitely worth it. Um, It's a fantastic movie. All right, Happy New Year, guys. Uh, God bless. Um, God keep you safe. And let us enjoy this new year. Enjoy sci-fi. Enjoy Star Wars. Enjoy uh, 
whatever you love to enjoy together. All right. God bless all of you and um, take it easy.